So moving on to our fifth video, it goes on to say, this is a question from the 2011 past paper. It says the school has a network of computers located in all parts of the site. Okay. One benefit of using a network in a school is the ability to centrally manage students' use. Identify three other benefits of using a network in a school. So if you come on to the next slide, you would see some of the benefits. Benefit number one is, for example, you can share peripheral devices such as a printer. So you can have one printer connect that printer to the network and that printer can be shared with all the computers in the network. Then second one is staff can upload files to share with students. Okay. Then you can upload your files all into a central area. So students can all work together on the same file, which is known as collaborative working. Then from any computer, you can access another computer, which is known as roaming profiles. You can say access from any machine. Another advantage is easy to install software. You only have to install the software on the main computer and then automatically all the computers which are connected to the server computer or to the main computer would have the software. Okay. Then security is centrally managed. Okay. From one computer, you can manage the security of all the computers. Okay. Then backup is centrally managed. Then communicate with other workstations without using the internet. So students can communicate with each other using their own computers without an internet connection okay since the computers are connected to each other in the network they do not need an internet connection to communicate with each other this is another benefit okay. then simultaneous access to the internet which means one internet connection can be shared with the entire network okay so we call it simultaneous access to the internet everybody can access the same internet connection at the same time and then terminals often cheaper than standalone machines okay so rather than buying a computer which is not connected to a network you can buy what you call a terminal uh, this computer is much cheaper than a standalone computer this terminal will be getting its resources from the server computer okay then moving on to our next question it's a multiple choice question GRS bank offers an online banking facility to customers which one of these will customers be able to do online so pay cash into the accounts, you can't do that online, you'll have to go to an ATM and deposit the money. Transfer funds between accounts, yes, you can log into your bank account and you can say transfer X rupees from your bank account to another bank account. You can transfer funds. Withdraw foreign currency, you cannot do that. You cannot pay checks into your account also online. So the answer is going to be B. Uh, next one from 2012 past paper, it says some staff have laptop computers which connect wirelessly to the network. Identify two methods of connecting wirelessly to a network. So you can use either Bluetooth, you can use Wi-Fi or you can use infrared. The best of the two would be, uh, the best would be Wi-Fi. Then you have Bluetooth. Infrared is a really poor choice but acceptable answer. Identify two types of connections that can be used to connect the company network to the internet. Okay, so two types of connections that can be used to connect to the internet. You can use a 3G connection, you can use a Wi-Fi connection, a satellite connection, a broadband connection, a dial-up connection. Okay, more of this will be explained in chapter number five. Okay, but we have already learned of 3G connection, Wi-Fi connection, satellite connection. These kind of connections can be used to connect to the internet. Uh, moving on. The consultant recommends that the company installs a network on its site. Name this type of network. Okay, so we are talking about one particular site. So the type of network that we would be using is a local area network. Hardware costs are an important consideration when setting up a network. Hardware costs can be reduced by using terminals, which are usually cheaper than PCs. So we call them standalone computers. Identify one other way of reducing hardware costs. So in a network, another way that you can reduce hardware cost is you can share peripheral devices. You can share one printer with the entire network. Okay. So you can see peripheral devices can be shared. Uh, over here there is a did you know fact. Okay, it's about uh, wired signals or it's about wireless signals. Okay, please do uh, go through it. Okay, so it says that the wavelength of Wi-Fi signals is about 12 centimeters, which is 300,000 times longer than the wavelength of the light. So the World Health Organization generally considers anything above the wavelength of light 
to be harmless to humans okay so some people do say wi-fi signals are harmful can cause cancer all that but the world health organization deems it as something which is safe or harmless to humans uh, moving on over here you do have a comparison between wired signals and wireless signals okay you, you have to go through this okay the first point goes as cables are cheap if purchasing for a small number of devices but when it comes to wireless you do not have to buy any cables at all okay so this is an advantage for wireless okay when it comes to wireless you do not have to buy any cables okay over here it says may need a wireless access point for multiple uh, connections okay this is to increase the strength of the signals but generally when it comes to wireless connections you do not have to purchase signals you don't have to purchase cables then in terms of safety uh, wireless is better okay there are no tripping hazards nobody can trip and fall over cables okay when it comes to speed definitely wired is a better option okay wired connections as i told you at the beginning they have more number of frequencies so their bandwidth is much higher than wireless when it comes to stability stability means you know the connection remaining stable not losing its signal it is definitely going to be wired because wired connections are less affected by interference than wireless when it comes to wireless they are affected by interferences and also affected by obstacles so their stability is very poor so this is an advantage for wired when it comes to portability portability means you can move around and use the connection so then wireless is a better option for you okay wireless is extremely portable within the signal range but when it comes to wired it's not possible you have to be in the location or you have to be in the place that your cable is in okay then when it comes to a mess okay wireless is a better option there are no cables involved it's extremely tidy but if it comes to wired since there are going to be a lot of cables involved it's going to look very untidy in terms of security wired is a better option it's more secure wireless is easier to intercept okay so they are less secure when it comes to maintenance in wireless you have no maintenance at all or when it comes to wired you have to do a lot of maintenance on the cables that have been fixed okay so please do go through this comparison understand it well this is a question that comes almost in every past paper okay advantages of wired and uh, advantages of wireless so sometimes you have to do a comparison which is a better option okay and then finally uh, we have something which we call broadband broadband means uh, high speed internet okay that's what broadband means means broad bandwidth the opposite of broadband is narrow band narrow band means a very small bandwidth okay so broadband networks provide fast access to the internet through a connection to an internet service provider okay so if you want to connect to your if you want to connect to the internet you have to have a connection to an internet service provider an internet service provider is basically a company that provides you with an internet connection and they'll charge you monthly or weekly or daily or based on a package okay so they use fiber optic or copper cable network mobile broadband uh, provides high speed wireless connectivity using 3g or 4g technology to connect the mobile phone network which access the users isp so isp is internet service provider so it is you're using your mobile phone or your laptop if you want to connect to the internet you have to have access to an internet service provider okay so in chapter number 5 the next chapter we will be looking at what an isp is and what internet service provider is we'll be looking at examples of internet service provider okay so in the meantime please do try and uh, complete all these questions okay there are a few more questions for you to go please do complete it then do save your document and please make sure you upload your document uh, back into the classroom over here if you come and say view assignment you can come over here to add or create so click on this button select your file where have where the answers have been saved upload it and do not forget to click the turn in button